Welcome back to PGA Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about how to make this hexagon eternity ring and have all the line align perfectly. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before we start the demonstration, you can download this stone. There's a link at the description below. Sign up the newsletter and you can download the stone to follow along. Once you download the stone, then you can open that file and just using the copy and the paste into this file. When you bring in your file, if the stone is not right in the center of your construction plan, all you need to do is come into the align tool and we want to use the command align centers and at my top view, just type it zero, hit enter. Then you will have this piece there right in the center. You can scale up and down by holding the gumball with the scale tool to make it big or small. Once you have it, you can move it to whatever height that you want it. I'm using the circle command and type it zero in my front view. And I'd like to use my demonstration for diameter 60 millimeter and you hit enter, then you have something like that. Okay. Now to make a hexagon setting, we're going to come in into the command for polygon and right here that you can type it how many sizes you want. Since we want to have a hexagon, I'm going to snap it into the zero and stay with six there. Now you can decide how big your setting is going to be. So we'll have this curve. If you have this curve, we're going to move it to the top for whatever the stone is going to sit. Basically, you can extrude this one straight, right? And then we can trim it later for whatever is extra. But it coming with the one problem that I find, let me show you what that problem is. We have this setting right here and I simply just going to use the command polar array and I'm going to snap it into the zero. Basically kind of guessing for 18 of them, 360 degree. So this is what we get as you notice that there's a gap there and we want them to be as close as possible, right? So let me try 19 over there. And when you try 19, there's still a gap. And then I want to try 20 over there, still a gap, try 21. So it kind of moving in. This look really good, but still you're going to see this part there. So let me go ahead and record a history and then hit enter. Now, if you're looking at the render view, this is not too bad, but it's not too good either because you can see that you have these things that your children need to remove it, right? So my goal is to have them like meet 100% there, all right? And then also if you take a look on the render view and you will see something like this, right? I actually like this one on the side, it's tapered to the center as well. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. This is not too bad, um, but we can do it better. So let me show you. We're going to go back one step and one more step. Okay, so let's say this is how high I wanted the stone to be. Ideally, you want to make sure to cool it over here on the tip of a stone. It wanted to have the tip of a stone, which is the cooler to the ring rail in between 0.5 to 1 millimeter. All right, so you don't want this to set it too low because you might have a chance to break it when the jeweler to set it. All right, so now what we wanted to do is we want to draw attention to the middle. So I'm going to make a mark right at the center right here. And instead of uh, extrude it straight, I'm going to extrude it to the point. So like this piece is going to extrude it to this point right there. And you can see that we have this in our perspective. So I want to measure the angle in between here to here. Let's measure it from this line to this line. And that's showing it is 17.3 and it's really actually close to 18. So if I can have 18 and 360 degree, then I will have a 20 stone. All right. So that will work. Let's go ahead to draw a line starting from here and we just holding the shift and then we'll draw a straight line in this line. I'm going to rotate it this one for nine degree and 
just having that mirror to the other side. So that is showing it if my setting is fitting in between here and that will have a perfect meet for the edges. So what we wanted to do is coming into the perspective and then me turning into the ghost view and we want to use the command for orient to point and I'm going to pick up this one, hit enter. We don't need a copy, but we do need a scale here on the top and we do need the 3D scale. So that's snapping into the midpoint to the midpoint on our hexagon and coming into the neighbor right here, holding my shift and coming into the intersection right there. As you can see, they scale it up a little bit perfectly while fitting into those two rails there. All right, so we're going to do the same thing coming to the solid extruded planar curve and we want to extrude it to the point. So using the command extruded to the point, we're going to select this one and coming into this point right there. All right. So now it is perfect fit there. Let's give it a try. We're going to pick up the stone and we're going to pick up our setting and coming into the front view. We're going to use the command called polar array and we're going to snap in into the zero right here. And we know we will need 20 stone to be perfectly fit there. And then here we are that we get that perfect match on the old edges. All right, so let's go back. We know that it's going to work and I'm going to bring this up a little bit, something like this. And we simply just going to use the ball in difference, this one out of this one. So then that will cut the opening there for our stone to sit in. And we want to do a bevel edges there. Let's say we want to bevel edges for 0.6 millimeter. And we want to select all the interior right here. And then we can cut it open like that. Now we have a stone showing up. We want to work on the prong. Basically prong is quite simple. We're going to come in into the right view and just draw a straight line straight down. It doesn't have to be too long and having this one pipe it. So I'm going to pipe it in about, in about this size. And we don't need this like too long, just a little bit over the table that should work and make sure that it's not touching the wall to the edges. And then all we need to do is we need six prong there. So let's go ahead to use polar array command again and snapping into the center. We need six of them and we'll get something like that. Once you get it, we wanted to trim it down the inside part. So let's go ahead to use that ring rail and we simply just want to extrude it command. Let's go extrude it straight. Make sure both sides equal yes. Then we will have something like this. Simply just using bowling difference command and having this one and be trimmed off by this one. What we need to do is having this unit and we want to polar array using the polar array command one more time snapping into the center. Remember that 20 is the magic number. So then we will have this perfectly fit. Let's take a look on the render. So this will be our eternity ring for this hexagon shape of the setting. If you like the way I model, I have more trick and tips on my member only program. So join the membership to watch all the video. Thank you for watching. See you next.